Like, who is then then Lazaro to you? Because I want to ask questions. <laughs> yeah. I think Anton wants to know how we became instant friends and what yeah. were your, you know, fondest memories of the, you know, months in the national team. Um, actually, our friendship started when we became roommates in Japan. It was a training camp before Sea Games. Yeah, it was training camp before Sea Games. They were making their roommates, and then, naging roommate ko si Ate Den. At first, I was scared si Ate Den, because <laughs> Ate Den has this aura and she's scary. And then she has a no, yung face niya parang pag naka relax na ganon lang. Yeah, like this. <laughs> like, oh my gosh. I was scared, but I was excited because I wanted to get to know her. And then, super sad though. Like, we were, like, we clicked right away. We ha- we we vibed right away. Like, the stuff she wants, I like. The stuff she doesn't like, I like. Like, we, <laughs> we bonded right away, which actually, I didn't expect Swish. Because, you know, Ateneo La Salle, and then, parang, She was older than me, and then you know I was a uh, I was a young girl, but then young girl, young, a young girl. <laughs> <laughs> no, it just really shows like you can really be good friends. I don't know why people like have this impression that uh, Ateneo and Lasal are not friends even outside. Like I don't know where you get that, guys. But <laughs> this is a good example of a good friendship, a Lasal and Ateneo friendship. Yep. The rivalry is just inside the court, and even in inside the court, hindi siya personal, guys. It's just uh, all part of the game. We're just competitive. Yes. <laughs> we're just competitive. So yes, I'm very grateful that I got close to Ate Den. After that, like, yun nga, we went through a lot also in Sea Games, and then after, <laughs> ayon, we just went through a lot. We we went through the same thing, so. It was really a good experience. It was really a good. It was a good experience being with her during, you know, hard times. Yeah. Okay. Super yeah. thankful I was with you, Kiana. Yeah. I I would have I wouldn't have like got made it through. <laughs> you know <that>. <laughs> okay. Um, I'm not surprised because there are just people na minsan pag nakikilala mo siya. And hindi mo talaga na expect. You guys just hit it off. Kung mga parang ano lang, like like you said, Kiana, you just clicked. And mm-hmm. um, there are just people in life like that. Like even if matagal na kayo hindi nagikita, and then you see each other again, it was like you know the time spent apart didn't happen because you guys just click. But what was the ano? Like what was the first common ground? I know you have a lot of things in common, like the Gucci shoes that you guys bought. Um, but, yeah, yeah. but like, what was the first common ground? Because, de ba, pag nakikilala mo ang isang tao and you start to talk to that person, oh, we like the same music. Oh, you like that song, man? Let's vibe to that. Mama, ganun ba? Like for you two, ano yung unang common ground? Tapos, oh, siguro magiging good friend ko to. Ano ba? Um, the first. Do you remember the first thing I said to you when I first met you, or the first thing I ever said to you? Was no. in the airport, right, Swish? What? Was in the airport. The first time I really talked to you. Was it the story? <laughs> <laughs> I'm so random, na laga. I just told her something like what happened at the airport. Random lang. Like I just wanted to tell her. Um, di ko alam kung nagrespond ko or whatever, but I just wanted to tell you. And then we became we became roommates. And then I don't know, sir. Room like nag, nag like even if I wasn't close to her back then, parang I wanted to make her cuento about my life or what happened to me. Parang wala lang. Parang de ba? That's when that's where you start. Yeah. And then when I made her cuento about something, <laughs> like how she parang how she responded, like parang parang nagtulutulo yung cuento namin. Na, yeah, 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 yeah. It's like. I don't know. We we have. Parang, it's hard to explain it. Eh. Like we just clicked right away. I don't know how to explain it, but every time we talk, like 
we agree with each other. Parang ganon. Mm. And then we bonded pa yung sa Haikyuu. Remember Haikyuu? Like we would... Ah, okay. Haikyuu sabi yung ganon, ganon. And then... Wala. I just... Even if I wasn't close with her, I wanted to share with her everything that happened in my life. I felt like we were close already. Even before I... Um, I, I shared with her uh, my life. Like, I just felt that instant connection. <laughs> and then yun, kasi parang every time I make her kwento rin, she also has a good parang feedback. Like, it makes me realize, oh nga, oh nga. Parang, she's like an older sister. She knows all the right things to say. Yeah, wow. And then, like, when I'm mad and I make her kwento, parang sinasabayan niya ako. Parang, oh nga. <laughs> yeah, like parang we support each other. That if she's mad at someone, okay, I'm mad at her also. <laughs> but you know, there are also times that, syempre, I have to go against what you're saying. If malita lega, ano man? Sakit, de ba? She's really a no big sister to me. Yeah. Oh. Thank you for watching Volleyball DNA. Make sure you hit the subscribe button to get notified for future episodes and interview highlights. And while you're at it, head over to our Facebook page by clicking on the link in the description.